Number 34, which of the following acids have the lowest pKa value? This is another way of saying which one is the strongest acid. So compound one is ethanol. Compound two is called acetic acid. We have a carboxylic acid functional group. Here we have an alcohol. Compound three is called taurine. It has an amino group and a sulfonic acid group. Now let's compare these two first. Which one is more acidic, ethanol or acetic acid, and why? Now, ethanol has a pKa of around 15.9, so for the most part, it's neutral. Acetic acid is around 4.75. So this is a weak acid. Acetic acid is more acidic than ethanol. The reason is due to the resonance stabilization of the conjugate base. The stronger acid has the more stable or weaker conjugate base. The weaker acid has a stronger conjugate base. So let's draw the conjugate base of ethanol. To draw the conjugate base, simply remove the hydrogen and decrease the charge by one. So when we take away the hydrogen, it's gonna be O. Here it's neutral. If we subtract it by one, we're gonna get a negative one charge. So this is the conjugate base of ethanol. This is called ethoxide. The conjugate base of acetic acid is called acetate, and it looks like this. Now we know that acetic acid is the stronger acid. That means that this has to be the weaker base and this has to be the stronger base. So why is acetate a weaker base than ethoxide? This has to do with electron delocalization or resonance stabilization of the conjugate base. We can draw a resonance structure if we take a lone pair, form a pi bond and break this one. We'll get this structure. Notice that the negative charge is delocalized or shared among the two oxygen atoms. It's not localized on one oxygen atom. Here, the negative charge is localized. It's stuck on the oxygen atom. Here, the negative charge and the electrons, they're free to move in this region. And so it's delocalized over that region. Now, because the negative charge is shared among two oxygen atoms as opposed to one, we have a more stable situation. So that's why it's called resonance stabilization of the conjugate base. The conjugate base is stabilized by resonance. The negative charge is spread out over a greater region of space. So that's why acetic acid is more acidic than ethanol. It's due to the resonance stabilization of the conjugate base or the delocalization of the electrons on those two oxygen atoms. So now let's look at taurine. I'm just gonna put an R group for this part. Let's draw the conjugate base of taurine. Now, if we were to draw the resonance structures for this, notice that we can put the negative charge on three oxygen atoms as opposed to two. So the conjugate base is even more stable than the acetate ion. Because if you can put the negative charge on three oxygen atoms as opposed to two, that's a more stable situation. And now we could put the negative charge on the third oxygen atom to get this. So the answer is going to be number three. Taurine, the sulfonic acid in taurine, is going to have a lower pKa value 
than acetic acid or ethanol. The reason is due to the resin stabilization of the conjugate base. When we draw the conjugate base, we could put the negative charge on three oxygen atoms as opposed to two and as opposed to one. So the more atoms in which you can spread that negative charge, it leads to a more stable conjugate base, which means the original acid is a stronger acid with a lower pKa value. Now, I want to take a moment to let you know that the video that you're currently watching only represents one test question out of the 90 questions that are found in my Organic Chemistry 1 Exam 1 video. So for those of you who want access to the full video, check out the links in the description section below this video. Now let's get back to the problem. Now just to give this in perspective, or just to put this into perspective rather, this is sulfuric acid. You know sulfuric acid is a very strong acid. Acetic acid is considered a weak acid for our practical purposes, but sulfuric acid looks like this, very similar to the sulfonic acid. The pKa for sulfuric acid is around 9 or negative 10, somewhere in this area. Now here's another similar compound. What I'm drawing here is another sulfonic acid. This is a very common one that you're going to see in orgol too. This is called para toluene sulfonic acid. Toluene is basically benzene with a methyl group. Now let's say this is position one. This is the ortho position. This is meta. This is the para position. The methyl group is on the para position, so it's called para toluene sulfonic acid. This has a pKa of around negative one. The reason why this is much more acidic is because you have two OH groups as opposed to one. So having two acidic groups makes it much more acidic than just having one acidic group. Here's another one. This is called methane sulfonic acid. The pKa for this one is around negative two. This is abbreviated as TSOH, para toluene sulfonic acid. Methane sulfonic acid, MSOH. So anytime you see a sulfonic acid, just know that it's a strong acid like sulfuric acid. The pKa is going to be below zero. It's going to be a negative value. So number three is the correct answer for this problem. It has the lowest pKa. So we could assume that the pKa for this, I don't know the exact value, but it's going to be less than zero. It might be negative one or negative two. Because methane sulfonic acid was negative two, this one, I mean, this is a carbon just like methane, we should expect that it should be somewhere around negative two.